Hi, I'm Allie and I'm Living Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. One of the things that living with chronic illness has taught me is this. God is the God of more. He is not bound by what we used to have or what we used to be able to do. God is able to do new things in and through us despite the condition of our bodies. I think that sometimes after we receive a diagnosis, the the fight is on instantly for us to get back to the way we once were pre-diagnosis, before the symptoms began. But what if God is transforming us through the process? What if he's making us into what he's calling us to be? What if he's equipping us even through the pain, even through the symptoms, even through the challenges? If your process is not necessarily chronic illness, what if God is transforming you right in the midst of what's happening in your life? No, he doesn't send the bad things. He doesn't send the pain and the grief and the trauma and the sickness. But if he allows it, he has a plan to use it for your best interest. He always has a plan to work it together for your good. So what if he is challenging us in this process to let go of what was and to embrace what can be. The word of God talks about remembering Lot's wife. It actually says this, remember Lot's wife, whoever tries to keep their life will lose it and whoever loses their life will preserve it. Specifically, that's talking about the day of the son of man being revealed. But I wonder if in that sentiment, there is also a message to us about right now. That yes, there are things that we might have to change. There are adjustments that we may have to make. But what if God is saying, it's okay to let go of how things used to be. And it's okay to embrace what I'm doing in you now. Do not feel bound by what once was that you have to live up to former expectations. What we must do now is seek God for his will in our life today. Lord, what would you have me to do in this moment? How would you like to use me right now? I don't want to miss what you're doing in front of me because I'm looking back. So I challenge you today even as you prepare for the things that are coming up in your life. Do not be bound by the things in your past, good or bad. Do not feel required to hold yourself to the standards of yesterday. God is doing a new thing in your life and in my life. And he wants us to be willing to let go of what was so that we can embrace what he has for us to come. Remember Lot's wife, when God is setting your past on fire, let it burn and look ahead and look forward to what he's about to do. I love you. I'm praying for you and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one.